Hello everyone. This lab is going to introduce remote control client. Our vault server 192.168.2.21 can be remote controlled by a command line tool. I'm having a Windows 7 64-bit machine and already copied over the remote control client. This is com command line tool. Utility runs on a remote, not on Vault itself. The remote control client can work with several agents, providing a controlled flexibility and streamlined administration facilities. It can use to control Vault server, DR Vault, even the notification engine, and the cluster Vault manager. Let's start to test it. There's just one exe file in the folder and a couple of DLL. Let's run it and see what we will get from there. So we got an error message to say there's a msvcr120.dll is either not desired, is either not designed to run on Windows or it contains an error. So basically it's saying this DLL cannot be run in this version of Windows. Usually that means your virtual C++ is not installed correctly on the machine. So I already copied virtual C redistribute 64-bit exe file and we're gonna run it. So it doesn't recognize this platform. I'm gonna check the system setup to see what's the reason there. So most likely I'm running on 32-bit operating system. And uh, that's why it's not possible for me to run a 64-bit version VR, VCR, EDIST list file. So I got the 32-bit, now it should be okay now. Setup successful. Let's try this again. Actually, we don't need to reboot. I'm guessing those two DIL files must be 64-bit and my Windows 7 is 32-bit. It doesn't compatible with this Windows platform. So since I already installed 32-bit, then I can just remove those 64-bit DL file, so they are going to automatically to use in uh, system default 32-bit DL. So now we can start to test our remote control service. So we're going to test remote control on the vault. Our vault server IP is 192.168.2.21. And the password. This is gonna be your administrative password. Slash C. That means command. So we're gonna have a command layer to show what. It's not showing result yet. Let's test it if the port is open. We are running on port 9022. The port is not open for this one. So basically, we need to open that port first. Timeout. Since we didn't open the port, let's, uh, we have to go back to the server or firewall to open a port. Gonna create a firewall rule for that. Next, TCP 9022. Allow the connection. Uh, before we add this rule, I want to make sure one thing is service. So you need to have a remote control service to be enabled. Let's say on the, yeah, this one is not up yet. Let's start this. 
and so we stop automatically if they are not in your program. To start this service, um, we need to change it to automatic. We can put it to delay start. And then let me try start again. Um, we may need to reboot it. Let's give it to reboot and see how it goes. Um, unfortunately, I found that the only way to change the private uh, remote control agent service from manual to automatic and make it running is to reinstall the vault server. So during the option, you need to enable the remote control service when you're installing a vault. If you forgot that part, you want to change it from manual to automatic and make it running, you will get some element. So I did reinstall the vault, I removed it all installation, so remove all installation and then reinstall it and then it comes back. The configuration files is on the private arc server conf this uh, PAR agent. So I already defined the uh, IP address and all defined the pass, password, PAR agent the pass. And then service can be started normally in this way. So now we're going to check it again here. And the first thing we're going to check the port. Yes, it's opening now. We don't have to open the firewall at this moment. And then we can test it again to see if we can get the status. Working with agent on 192.168.2.21. Vault is running. So we got the status, vault status. That's the command we put in a status vault. We can do more. We can stop the service. We can start the service. So the all command you can find out from here. Power client, vault server IP, vault server password, plus a slash command. And then you can get CPU, you can do debugging, you can control the DR route, you can control ENE event engine, and also you can control the cluster route as well. Let's try to get the CPU and see how it's going. It's just yeah, 0.14%. So that's how you use this remote control client. Um, the next step I'm going to try is hardening. As we know, this uh, hardening application on the hardening folder. So there's some configuration here. Yes, 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 hardening. So let's try to run it as administrator. We didn't see any output there. Let's go back to command line and see. So there's usage here, so we need hard and config DIR, lock DIR. Okay, so there's a couple of things we need to do here. Say, gonna choose in this folder. That will be our hardened configuring with DIR and the log DIR we're gonna put into same 
and we're going to allow RTP and then I'm mean, going to put our RTP IP address which is my IP address go to 21 no, that's a local server IP that's this one that's my IP here Photo 71. Okay, so um, the parameter should be like this. If you look at the usage here, it's wrong. The usage is telling you using hard, hardened configuration DIR, log DIR. You won't be able to do that. I tried, tried, tried. Actually, it has to be CA vault hardened or EXE and standard long vault. Then put the full pass of car in the folder, and they will find out your hardened INI file and then allow RTP and plus the RTP client IP address. So now the hardening window security is started. Okay, you stop in Windows Firewall, setting blocking master done, deleting all firewall rules, adding RTP 3389, starting the firewall done, Windows Firewall success hardened. Let's take a look. Service first. Refresh. Ah, uh, it's not changing the Windows Firewall name. It's keep the same Windows Firewall. And uh, let's look at the configuration first. We still can turn that to our remote agent port. No, it's not be allowed. That's very interesting. So hardening actually blocked the access. Um, we're gonna open it. Let's give it a try here. Go back. We're gonna open these firewall rules since we need a remote agent working, remote agent control, remote control agent working. So um, we need to stop the service. Okay. Um, you can start from here. You can stop the server. No more shutdown. And then we can manually change the firewall Lures. Firewall is close to client communication. Good. Um, it's in the DP palm. Let's look at firewall rule. And now non stand firewall address. Let's add it one here. So we are talking about ten. 31. We are talking about port 9022. We are talking about outbound TCPs and the inbound TCP. 9022 to go outbound and the inbound 9022. Okay, so save. And then we start the server again. So firewall is open for client connection. Great. So we're gonna try it again. Works. We're gonna try it again to get the vault status. Now it's gonna take a couple minutes here. Let's wait for it. 
Yeah, Vault is running. We can get the CPU here. Perfect. That, uh, that's our Vault. Um, it seems working well. We hardened our Vault as well and our remote control agent and works fine. We our remote control client can control our vault service. Thank you for watching.